kids were wanting some bread and uh, we've actually stopped buying bread recently because I found a new bread recipe and it's uh, super easy to do and it's very minimal ingredients and the kids absolutely love it um, and I promise we're not becoming a cooking channel but the kids really wanted bread right now and I figured hey let's make a video together showing how we make bread so Solomon is gonna help me out and Sethi Jude there uh, <clears throat> Sethi loves the bread. He loves his peanut butter and jelly. Uh, uh, peanut butter sandwich. Yep. Okay. And, but, so, <clears throat> like I said, this is, recipe is real easy. If you want to learn, you know, all the ingredients, I have some links in my last, in our last video mm -hmm. to where I got the recipe. Uh, but I will leave the recipe or, that we follow in the description below and with all the, all the measurements and stuff. Um, but this recipe is pretty much just Flour, <clears throat> uh, fresh yeast, salt, water, and olive oil. So it's, it's real easy, real basic, and it doesn't take long at all. Um, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and start adding, uh, mixing in the ingredients. First we have our flour. Seth, why don't you dump the flour in the bowl? Oh. Not the whole bowl, just the flour. There you go. There's our flour. Don't touch it. Okay, now we're gonna add our salt. Ew, salt. This is it. I, 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 got, I, got, I got all I got of the salt. salt. I thought that was sugar. No, nope, that's salt. The salt actually helps. You just put a little bit and it helps enhance the flavor. Um, that's pretty much what salt, salt should easy. only be. And you know who I'm talking to, Anita Miller. Uh, a flavor enhancer not a flavor maker. Um, then we're going to add our dry yeast. Um, dry yeast. And you know what? I follow the recipe um, really closely. Go ahead and crumple that up. Here. Crumple Just crumple it up and dump it in. Um, and usually, in the past, I've always made, anytime I've ever made bread on my own, I always use like those boxes, recipes of bread. And they always come with the dry yeast packets, which you end up mixing in with water before you put it in. Um, but from this recipe, you mix the dry, uh, fresh yeast straight in with the dry ingredients. Make it, make sure it's mixed in real well. You want to make sure it's crumpled up because when you get it, it comes in like a little block, and uh, it crumples up. But you crumple it up. I mean, that's enough. Um, and just make sure it gets mixed in real good. And uh, one thing I love about this recipe, and not using, I don't use a bread machine, don't use a mixer, use every, do everything by hand, and I enjoy it. It's just a lot of fun to get your hands dirty and get your hands get in, in, in there and getting your hands dirty. And, and uh, so it's a lot of fun. So now we got that all mixed up. All right, all right, guys. We're gonna add the wet ingredients. So first, we're gonna add the water. Go ahead and add the water. Do the water. I'll do it. Yeah. You did the flour, so Did all of it? Yep. Just add the whole, all the water. You're doing everything. And now we're gonna add the olive oil. That should be enough olive oil there. We can go ahead and mix it up. Use our scraper here and get everything mixed together. Make sure you get all the flour mixed. Yeah, all the flour. And what is this one? That's the salt. That's the salt bud. Oh, yeah. And our super expensive Tupperware we have there. We keep our salt in. This is where we make a. This is how we make a bread. The bread shape pop. Yep, that's our bread pan. Yeah. So we got the ingredients. So then we should get cookies to make Christmas cookies. Yeah, Christmas cookie shapes for Christmas. We got the ingredients all mixed up. And now what we're going to do. Like in 10 seconds. Is Ooh. we're going to need. We got some kitties outside that want to come inside. Um, we're just going to knead it. Uh, did I put a. 
a little olive oil on my hands to keep it from getting all sticky because it's gonna be a little sticky at first but we're just gonna knead it we should clean this table it's nearly lunch yeah. <laughs> yeah nearly lunch time we actually have lunch cooking behind us but and i hope it doesn't set on fire so I'm gonna use my scraper because like it's a bit Give sticky. Give us a thumbs up. But, um... Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe after this video. Seth, get over here. Subscribe means you like it. So you're gonna knead it for only 10 seconds and uh, then you're gonna put it back in your bowl and then come back after 10 minutes and do it again. Alright guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our dough back out, right give it another 10 seconds of kneading. Oh, come on! Count to 10, said Jude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 there we go. And so now we're gonna put it back in our bowl here. We're gonna give it another ten minutes, yeah. and after, and after that, we're gonna give it another kneading, and then it's uh, we're gonna leave it to proof. But um, uh, most recipes you see will tell you about, uh, you know, you need to be kneading it ten to fifteen minutes, or you know, less, more, whatever. Um, but the thing is, with this recipe, this is the way it goes, and it works, and it works great. The outcome is very good. And yeah, uh, you have you can get more stuff done while you're trying to get the bread cooked. So um, we'll see you guys in ten minutes. What? It's been another ten minutes. My dough is still a little on the sticky side, which it's happened a couple times, but it's okay. So we're gonna knead it another ten seconds. Are you counting, Sethi One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do now is um. Simon, give me a little of Simon. You're in our way. Simon, I thought you were gonna be the chair. All right, guys. When you got six kids, this is the kind of stuff that happens. Give me a little bit. Four, you mean? You said six. Four? Okay. Four kids. You're not Sorry. a kid. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, when you have four kids, this is the kind of stuff that happens. What if them gets in the way of the yolk? Pour me a little bit of oil in that bowl, buddy. So, what we're gonna do. That's enough. That's plenty. No more ten minutes. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave our bread. Our dough to prove for an hour. Should give it some good size. Well, look at it. It's like over a here, brain. Simon. Simon, come over here. Good come over here. And we're gonna leave it to prove for an hour. Well, that's proving. We're gonna have lunch. So, it's been an hour, as you can see, 
Our nose definitely risen quite a bit. And uh, so now what, all we're going to do is knock it back and prep the baking dish, which our baking tin is this one here. Um, and so I'm going to put a little oil on my hands to keep it from getting too sticky. Just a little bit. Um, then we're going to pull that bread out. It's always a lot of fun. So, what we're doing is we're going to knock it back. And all we're doing is knocking all the air out. Trying to get all the air out of the dough. Folding it over a couple times. Push it down like that. There you go. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna get it back into a ball, kind of a ball shape. Then we give it to me. Uh, I don't know, bud. It's such a ball shape. I even fall on all my hands, the ones on the other one. Okay, so then you kind of flip it over, get your little bits out like that, fold them in, and then we just roll over this side and kind of fold it in on itself like that. Hey Solomon, can you do me a favor and put a little bit of flour in that bread pan? As he's doing that, Getting a basic shape here of, of the loaf. Make sure it's nice and tight. You may get a little texture up here, which it gives it, well, I can't pick it up. a nice topping, but in front of the camera. Now we're just going to lift it up, drop it in there, and then we're going to let it sit in here for about another. Uh, 45 minutes, and then uh, we'll go, while we're waiting for this, we'll go ahead and preheat the oven. Um, on our oven, we just put it on the highest gas mark because you want a really high heat for this. Um, so when you're, uh, I'll, I'll leave the in the description below the exact heat, um, but ours is a little itty bitty oven, so it doesn't go too high uh, in the first place. But we're gonna let this sit. And then uh, we'll come back to it in about 45 minutes and get it in the oven. Alright guys, so as you can see, our bread's definitely risen. Um, I don't have my helpers with me because this is a hot stove and they tend not to listen. So, um, I have the bread's pretty much ready to go. It quite hasn't quite risen as much as I, I, as I have had in the past, but it's also risen higher than my first loaf that I ever did. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slide the bread in the oven. And as you can see, I have a little pan down here, and what that is, is, um, I'm going to pull it out just a bit. I have uh, some water I was boiling, and I'm going to go ahead and dump that in this pan. Slide that back in there. And go ahead and leave that. Um, honestly, on, if you check the recipe that I, I linked below, you'll see that'll give you approximate time. I really don't follow a time. I kind of keep a watch on the bread myself, um, just to know when it's done, because this oven's a little finicky. And uh, uh, but anyway, what that pan is for is uh, it, it's going to create some steam in the oven because your bread is still going to be rising in the oven for about another eight minutes or so. Um, give or take, and what that will do is that steam will help keep that outside from getting too hot and uh, crusting over before the inside of the bread really has time to bake. Um, it's worked out great and I do it all the time 
every time I cook a loaf and I've, I'm already up to like 10 in two weeks. Um, we'll be back as soon as it's done. Alright guys, so, uh, look who's home. Yay! Mommy's home from a long day at work. Uh, she made it home just before it started raining really hard. And just in time for the bread. Uh, oh. You might notice that uh, since the last time I put it back in the oven without the tin, it's gotten a little harder. You can obviously see the carnage from the not dusting my tin properly. But we got a nice uh, brown top, a nice and firm top, and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut into it. One thing I would suggest is letting it sit and kind of cool down before you cut into it. There's nothing better than warm bread though. We love warm bread, and this probably won't last beyond tomorrow I'm gonna eat um, warm in this bread house, but um, it is very delicious, so we're going to go ahead and cut into it. and. Uh, See what we got on the inside. Oh. oh see? So there this you go. Is good. Oh, what's up? This is hot. Oh, that smells so good. Wanna try some? This is a tiny piece. Get me, get me two slices. Come here, buddy. Get me two get a piece of bread. Get there me you two go. Slices. Get All right, guys. Slices. Well, I hope you liked the video. Oi. I hope you liked the video, and uh, if you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And mommy's eating bread, so she missed her part. But uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and go ahead and click that bell so you get notifications every time we post a new video. Um, you have one billion thousand likes. Yep, one billion thousand likes. Oh, more. All right, guys. Well, we will see you guys in the next video. Eating the bread. Oh, la, 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 la.